Hello, everybody. My name is Elaine Friend, and I'm your international consultant on high sensitivity. I'm one of the illustrious group of international consultants on high sensitivity, or ICHS. And I'm here today to wish all the sensitive mothers happy Mother's Day. I have a special place in my heart for highly sensitive moms. I am one. I was raised by one. And I know a lot. I work with sensitive moms all the time. And it's a very special, special way to live in the world and to parent. So I just wanted to reach out and do this little live and post it a couple times this weekend in celebration of Mother's Day. Mothers, I said this morning in our workshop, mothers have a special, a special license for codependency. It's our job, I mean, all parents' job to take care of our children. I think a highly sensitive woman with our greater empathy and stronger emotional reactivity and deep processing brain and strong noticing, highly sensitive moms are really imagining so many things that they can do. And because of that, I think we can be really hard on ourselves. So I'm here this weekend for Mother's Day to say, you are doing enough. You are enough. You do enough. You think enough. You feel enough. You love enough. Because you are. And even when your mind is not agreeing with that statement, if you're arguing with me right now in your own mind, I want you to know it's just because you're highly sensitive. Remember that all the things that you're thinking and noticing that you could be doing, all of those things, you don't have to do all of them. If you do 10%, that's enough. I once learned from a wise mentor that 80% is perfect. And I like to say for highly sensitive people that probably 50% is perfect. You are thinking about way more than 80% moms are. So how about in this moment, if you just give yourself some love and compassion, Let's think about the girl that you were. How was she mothered? Were there times when your mother was just spot on right there seeing you for who you are? I hope that was your experience. I know it was mine. And were there times as a young girl that your society, your family, your world did not see and appreciate for you for who you are? And I have such compassion for those times. I had them as well. I'm inviting all moms to join our Wise Women in Wonder Circle. We'll be gathering to talk about mothering in our lives, how we were mothered, how we mother, whether we're raising children right now or not. So come and find Wise Women in Wonder on Eventbrite. The link is below. I hope while you're seeing this that you will subscribe or follow wherever you see this and join us in celebrating mothers who are highly sensitive. Remember that all that love you have and all that empathy you have in your heart, it is felt by those around you. The last thing I'm going to say, your Mother's Day gift to yourself, maybe mine to you, is to put yourself first. Your children, whether they are infants or 50, they're watching you and seeing how you live your life as a woman. So show them how to live your best life. So go out today and do something for you. I'm probably not getting a card for Mother's Day. Are you? That's okay. Give yourself a hug, a heart felt, loving, compassionate action today. Happy Mother's Day, highly sensitive women.